So, you want to learn about item clocks. I mean, I can't judge you. I love them myself. I really think that they're one of the most lag-friendly, most efficient ways to keep an accurate timer in Minecraft. But, on the rare case that you haven't heard about these bad boys, let me tell you about them. So, so item clocks were actually designed by somebody named Gamecraft. Somebody might have designed it beforehand, but there's there's little to no record of this. But Gamecraft posted in a Minecraft form says, I took this as a challenge to see if I could make something more reliable without repeater clocks that can create lag. When I came up with a simple contraption that summons an item with an age of negative 10 minutes, aka negative 6,000 ticks, it cannot be picked up. It summons on a pressure plate with an inverted torch, and when the item despawns after 10 minutes, the torch will repower and summon a new item on the pressure plate. So, pretty good explanation already for it, but let me go ahead and show you what it looks like in action. So, for a command block, I've been using this, and by the way, he created this back in 2016, which props to them, because I've been using it for years. Even in a previous video, I used this. But how it works is a piece of stone is summoned on top of this gold pressure plate. What happens is it inverts the torch, turning it off. After 10 minutes have passed, the item despawns, turning the torch back on, spawning another item, and activating the chain command blocks. So you can add multiple chain command blocks and run multiple commands. So I'll include a link to the Minecraft form page below if you want the command, but the item is essentially unable to be picked up, and this method is super easy and lag friendly. Now my recommendation is that you run this in a spawn chunk. Spawn chunks never unload. If you build it in a different chunk and that unloads, the timer will freeze, but it won't break. The spawn chunks will only unload if everyone is offline or in a different dimension. Don't quote me on that. You can use this bad boy to prank your friends. If you use the slash play sound or slash kick, you could use slash title to build mini games and even make a working clock that tells you every single time an hour has passed, assuming you have to adjust the item's negative age. So try it out, go create something. I've been a big fan of it for a long time. 